Marcus Aurelius once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where ancient wisdom meets modern challenges. Today we delve into a crucial aspect of Stoicism, the art of not being soft to everyone. This philosophy, a beacon through centuries, teaches us the importance of cultivating mental fortitude and emotional resilience. But in a world where being overly accommodating is often seen as a virtue, how can Stoic teachings empower us to strike the right balance? How do we stand firm in our values while navigating the complexities of modern relationships and societal expectations? Join us as we explore how the enduring principles of Stoicism can guide us to lead a life of strength, dignity, and purposeful interaction in our dynamic, sometimes overwhelming world. Embracing Virtue in the Face of Comfort In the wise words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, we find a guiding light on the path of self-improvement and virtue. His teachings delve deep into the essence of our moral decisions and the very fabric of our character, emphasizing the importance of surrounding ourselves with individuals who inspire and challenge us to grow. Picture yourself at a pivotal moment in life, a crossroads where your moral compass is put to the test. It's a decision that stirs your soul, causing a tumult of emotions. Epictetus, with his profound Stoic wisdom, encourages us to seize these moments. Opting for virtue over comfort is choosing the higher path, one that may be fraught with challenges and unknowns. Consider a situation where you're pressured by a colleague to partake in unethical business practices. The lure of immediate financial gain and an easier path is tempting. However, Stoicism teaches us that true strength is rooted in a life of virtue and moral integrity. It's about steadfastly adhering to what is right, rather than succumbing to the convenience of the moment. Epictetus eloquently states, The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. This highlights the crucial role of surrounding yourself with those who not only share your commitment to ethical living, but also inspire and challenge you to elevate your moral standards. Imagine being in the midst of friends who resonate with your values, pushing you towards higher moral aspirations. In their company, you discover the fortitude and inspiration to remain unwavering in your pursuit of virtue. These are the individuals who, as Epictetus suggests, bring out your best, anchoring you to your moral principles in the face of tough decisions. As you weave through the intricate tapestry of relationships and confront challenging choices in life, hold on to these profound Stoic teachings. Embrace the discomfort that comes with choosing virtue over ease and draw strength from the fellowship of those who elevate you on your journey towards moral integrity and personal development. In the spirit of Stoicism, let me add a quote from another Stoic philosopher, Seneca. It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. This encapsulates the essence of our journey towards virtue. It's not the difficulty of the path that deters use, rather, it's our hesitation to embark on it. By daring to choose virtue over comfort, we not only challenge ourselves, but also transform the very nature of our journey, making the difficult path a rewarding one. So, to the men out there between 30 and 65 embarking on this journey of learning and growth, remember, the path of Stoicism is not about seeking comfort, but about finding strength in virtue and integrity. It's about making choices that align with your deepest values, even when they lead you away from the easier path. As you listen to this message from Stoic in your life, let it be a reminder that your true strength lies in your commitment to virtue and in the company of those who inspire you to be your best self. Embracing Stoic Mindfulness, a path to inner strength. In the bustling chaos of our daily lives, it's easy to become overwhelmed by external distractions and lose sight of our inner strength. This is where the wisdom of Stoic mindfulness, as championed by Marcus Aurelius, one of the great Stoic philosophers and Roman emperors, becomes invaluable. He eloquently highlighted the immense power of our minds, teaching us that amidst life's turmoil, 
our mental fortitude remains our most steadfast ally. Let's delve into a scenario that might resonate with you. You find yourself in a challenging situation. Your heart is pounding, your palms are sweaty, and anxiety is slowly creeping in. It's in these moments that stoic mindfulness shines. It invites you to pause, take a deep, calming breath, and introspect. Rather than being swept away by the tide of your emotions, you acknowledge them, but without passing judgment. This practice is rooted in the understanding that our minds possess the extraordinary ability to shape our perception of reality. As you embrace this form of mindfulness, you'll begin to see the profound truth in Marcus Aurelius' words. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This philosophy teaches us that while we can't control external events, our reactions to them are entirely in our hands. Imagine you're stuck in a traffic jam already late for a crucial meeting. The natural response might be to succumb to frustration and anger. However, stoic mindfulness encourages a different approach, one of calm acceptance. You come to realize that your agitation won't clear the traffic. It only disrupts your peace of mind. By consciously choosing your response, you reclaim control over your emotions. This practice isn't about suppressing your feelings. It's about confronting them with logic and resilience. It's about discovering the inner fortitude to navigate life's challenges with poise and grace. With regular practice, your mind can transform into a bastion of stability, enabling you to remain composed and strong in the face of adversity. This mental resilience becomes an invaluable asset, preventing you from being overly soft or yielding in demanding situations. Therefore, the next time life's trails seem overwhelming, draw upon the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Center yourself, acknowledge your thoughts, and opt for a mindful response. In doing so, you'll uncover the true strength that resides within your mind, equipping you to face life's hurdles with steadfast resilience. To further enrich this lesson, let's turn to another Stoic philosopher, Seneca, who once said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote beautifully encapsulates the essence of Stoic mindfulness. It reminds us that our fears and anxieties are often products of our mind, and by mastering our thoughts we can significantly reduce our suffering. In conclusion, Stoic mindfulness is a powerful tool in cultivating mental resilience. It teaches us to observe our thoughts and emotions without being controlled by them. By practicing this mindfulness, we learn to respond to life's challenges with wisdom and strength, embodying the true spirit of Stoicism. Remember, in the realm of your mind, you are the master, and with this mastery comes the ability to navigate life with unwavering courage and grace. The Power of Objective Thought Drawing inspiration from the timeless teachings of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This encapsulates the essence of Stoicism, emphasizing the significance of maintaining a clear objective mind regardless of the circumstances we face. Objective thought, a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, requires us to perceive things as they truly are, unclouded by personal biases or emotional distortions. It's about discerning facts from our interpretations, a skill that becomes crucial in our journey through life's unpredictable tides. When we allow our emotions or subjective views to dominate, we become softer, more malleable, and easily influenced by the external world. This can lead us astray away from the path of rationality and resilience that Stoicism advocates. The practice of objective thinking, particularly in challenging situations, is akin to navigating a ship through stormy seas with a steady hand and a clear mind. By adopting this approach, we respond to life's diverse events not with impulsive emotion, but with clarity and rationality. Our decisions become anchored in logic, enabling us to confront problems with a calm, composed demeanor. This not only fortifies our mental resilience, but also enhances our ability to solve problems and make decisions effectively. Consider the story of a captain steering his vessel through a tempest. The waves are tumultuous, the winds fierce but the captain remains undeterred. He doesn't curse the storm or lament his fate. Instead, he focuses on navigating the ship, 
using his knowledge of the seas and the stars above. This allegory mirrors our journey in life. Like the captain, we must remain steadfast, guiding our ship, our mind and actions, with a sense of purpose and direction undisturbed by the chaos around us. Seneca, who said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. We are reminded of the power of our perceptions. Our suffering often stems not from the events themselves, but from our interpretation of these events. By adopting objective thought, we can see situations for what they are, stripped of exaggerated fears or misguided beliefs. This clarity allows us to act with wisdom and courage, traits that define the true Stoic spirit. As we continue on our Stoic journey, let's embrace the practice of objective thinking. It's a tool that empowers us to face life's challenges with a serene mind and a resilient spirit. By doing so, we not only navigate our own lives with greater ease and effectiveness, but also become a beacon of strength and rationality for those around us. Remember, it's not the storms we encounter that define us, but how we choose to sail through them. Let's sail with wisdom, guided by the stars of Stoic philosophy, and find our way to a life of purpose, resilience, and tranquility. Embracing Life's Ephemeral Nature Aurelius poignantly observed, all things fade and quickly turn to myth. This profound statement serves as a reminder of the transient nature of our experiences, emotions, and the people we encounter. Stoicism, in its profound wisdom, doesn't just acknowledge this impermanence but urges us to embrace it wholeheartedly. Consider the analogy of the changing seasons or the day-to-night cycle. Nature, in its infinite wisdom, flows seamlessly from one state to another, demonstrating the art of effortless transition. Similarly, we, as part of this natural world, are encouraged to accept the ebb and flow of our own lives. When we hold on too tightly to people, situations, or our emotions, we become vulnerable. This vulnerability is not a sign of strength, but of a softness that leaves us open to the pain of loss and the inevitable change that time brings. However, by acknowledging and accepting life's impermanence, we foster a sense of inner peace and resilience. This lesson is not about detachment in the cold, unfeeling sense, but rather about a warm, conscious appreciation of the present. It's about living fully in the moment, cherishing our experiences and relationships while they are with us and having the strength to let go when the time comes. This stoic acceptance does not render us cold or indifferent. On the contrary, it empowers us to experience life more fully with a clear understanding of its transient nature. To illustrate this, let's consider the story of a mighty oak tree. The oak tree stands tall and strong, witnessing countless seasons. It doesn't lament the falling of its leaves in autumn or resist the budding of new ones in spring. It simply exists, accepting each change as part of its existence. Similarly, we should aim to be like the oak tree, strong yet flexible rooted yet able to sway with the winds of change. This lesson in Stoicism teaches us a valuable life skill, the art of living with open hands. It encourages us to enjoy, appreciate, and fully engage with our current experiences and relationships, yet always be prepared to open our hands and let go when the time comes. This approach to life doesn't make us weaker. Rather, it builds a resilience that allows us to face the impermanence of life with a serene heart and a strong spirit. In conclusion, the stoic journey towards accepting life's impermanence is both liberating and empowering. It teaches us to live each moment to its fullest, to love without clinging, and to embrace change as an inevitable, natural part of our existence. As we integrate this lesson into our lives, we become more resilient, more adaptable, and more at peace with the world around us. This is the essence of Stoicism, finding strength and serenity in the acceptance of life's ever-changing nature. Exercise empathy, not sympathy. In this pivotal lesson, we delve into the Stoic perspective on managing emotions and overcoming adversity, as taught by the venerable Epictetus. He enlightens us with a crucial understanding. Our emotional reactions to life's events are under our control. This concept is vital for those journeying through Stoicism, 
especially in today's emotionally charged world. Many of us tend to be overly soft or lenient, particularly when faced with the struggles of others or our own challenges. This softness often stems from allowing external circumstances to govern our emotional state, leading us to become excessively sympathetic. Stoicism, however, charts a different course, one that emphasizes empathy, comprehension, and rational thinking. Empathy, distinct from sympathy, is the ability to deeply understand others' feelings without being swayed or overwhelmed by them. It's about connecting at a fundamental level while preserving our emotional equilibrium. This form of connection is more constructive, enabling us to offer genuine support without losing ourselves in the process. Understanding follows empathy. Stoicism doesn't advocate for immediate impulsive reactions to life's trials. Instead, it encourages a moment of pause, a breath to assess and comprehend the situation at hand. This understanding isn't just about the problem itself, but extends to its nature, its roots. By grasping the true essence of a challenge, our responses become infused with wisdom, not just raw emotion. Rationality is the cornerstone of this approach. Epictetus famously stated, If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. This profound insight reveals that our distress is often a product of our own perceptions and judgments. It's not the external event that disturbs us, but how we interpret and evaluate it. Embracing rationality empowers us to reassess our perceptions, allowing us to choose a more balanced and composed response. Consider the story of Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic philosopher, who faced immense challenges as a Roman emperor. Despite the external chaos of wars and political turmoil, he maintained composure and empathy. He understood that his emotional response to these events was within his control. His example illustrates how we can transition from excessive sympathy, which often leads to emotional turmoil, to constructive empathy. This shift enables us to maintain our inner strength and resilience, even amidst the most daunting situations. So, as we navigate the complexities of life, let's hold on to Epictetus's wisdom. By practicing empathy, understanding, and rationality, we not only support others effectively, but also safeguard our mental fortitude. This approach doesn't mean becoming indifferent or cold. Rather, it's about finding a balance where we can be compassionate without compromising our emotional well-being. The lesson here is clear. In the face of life's challenges, choose empathy over sympathy, understanding over reaction, and rationality over impulsiveness. This path leads to inner strength, resilience, and a serene mind, essential for anyone on the Stoic journey. A cultivate self-discipline. In the wise words of Seneca, no person has the power to have everything they want, but it is in their power not to want what they don't have, and to cheerfully put to good use what they do have. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of Stoicism, emphasizing the importance of self-discipline and contentment in our lives. In today's fast-paced world, we're constantly bombarded with messages urging us to seek more, more possessions, more status, more experiences. This endless chase often leaves us feeling empty and dissatisfied, ironically making us softer and more vulnerable in our approach to life. We might find ourselves indulging excessively, overcommitting, or being enslaved by our endless desires. Stoicism, however, offers a refreshing antidote to this modern predicament. It invites us to critically examine our desires, distinguishing between what is truly essential and what is merely a fleeting want. Understanding that we can't have everything we desire teaches us the invaluable lesson of contentment with what we already have. This doesn't imply stagnation or a halt in our ambitions. Instead, it's about approaching our goals with mindful discernment, understanding that the pursuit of desires should be balanced and thoughtful. Self-discipline in Stoicism is about mastering moderation and realizing that true richness is found in appreciating the present. It's about not being swayed by every temptation, but making wise choices about where to invest our time and energy. This discipline strengthens our resolve, fortifies our character, 
and equips us to better handle life's challenges. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to shift our focus from external acquisitions to the development of internal virtues. This inner strength becomes our steadfast companion in adversity, allowing us to face life's storms with grace and resilience. As Marcus Aurelius, another Stoic philosopher, once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This is a testament to the idea that true fulfillment doesn't come from a relentless pursuit of more, but from a disciplined appreciation of what we already possess. So, as you ponder Seneca's words, think about how self-discipline can revolutionize your life. Embrace the stoic principle of discernment, find contentment in your current possessions, and nurture the inner fortitude that will enable you to stand unwavering in the face of life's trials and tribulations. Remember. The journey to self-mastery and fulfillment is not about acquiring more but about appreciating and making the best use of what we already have. Recognize your sphere of control. This lesson, deeply rooted in the teachings of Epictetus, a luminary in the Stoic world, revolves around his timeless adage, some things are in our control and others not. This simple yet profound statement invites us to introspect and discern the boundaries of our influence in the intricate tapestry of existence. Picture yourself standing at the edge of a boundless ocean, where waves relentlessly crash against the shore. This ocean is a metaphor for life's vast and uncontrollable nature. Your sphere of control is akin to a circle drawn in the sand around you, encompassing elements like your thoughts, actions, and decisions, aspects of life you can directly influence, much like the sand within your circle. Now turn your gaze to the immense ocean stretching beyond your circle, its depths unfathomable, its tides swayed by forces far beyond your reach. This vast expanse symbolizes life's myriad elements that lie outside your control. External events, the actions of others, and the unpredictable ebbs and flows of fate. Often, we become overly accommodating, or soft in our interactions, stemming from a misguided attempt to extend our control beyond this sphere. It's akin to trying to stop the ocean's mighty waves with our bare hands. This futile effort leads to frustration, exhaustion, and a sense of helplessness. Let's take a moment to let Epictetus's words deeply resonate within us. Visualize your circle of control. By doing this, you gain a profound awareness of where your influence begins and ends. Focus your energy on what lies within this circle, releasing your grip on everything else. This practice isn't about passive resignation, but about embracing the wisdom of discernment. It's about knowing when to act decisively and when to yield to the natural flow of events. Understanding your sphere of control brings a profound sense of peace and resilience. You become adept at navigating the unpredictable waters of life with grace and composure. While you cannot command the entire ocean, you can certainly steer your own ship with skill and wisdom. Marcus Aurelius, who said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote complements Epictetus's teachings, emphasizing the power of internal control over external circumstances. In summary, this lesson on recognizing your sphere of control is a call to focus on what we can change and accept what we cannot. It's a reminder to cultivate inner strength, resilience, and a serene acceptance of life's inherent unpredictability. By mastering this principle, you, as a Stoic, will navigate life's challenges with a calm and steady hand, embodying the true essence of Stoic wisdom. Cultivate Resilience In the grand theater of life, imagine yourself not as a mere spectator, but as a valiant wrestler in the center of the ring. This vivid imagery, drawn from the profound insights of Marcus Aurelius, the esteemed Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, serves as a powerful metaphor for the essence of resilience. Picture life as a wrestling match, where the ring symbolizes the myriad of challenges and adversities that weave through the tapestry of our existence. These trials range from personal setbacks and failures to formidable external obstacles that stand defiantly beyond our control. Stepping into life's arena demands more than passive acceptance. 
It calls for a recognition that softness in the Stoic realm is not about physical strength, but an attitude of yielding to every difficulty without resistance. It's akin to laying down your arms in defeat on the wrestling mat, succumbing without a fight. Stoicism, in stark contrast, champions the cultivation of mental fortitude. Echoing through time, Marcus Aurelius's profound declaration, the art of living is more like wrestling than dancing, resonates with profound truth. Life is seldom a graceful waltz through realms of ease and comfort. It is, more often, a relentless battle, a test of endurance against the formidable opponents of challenges, setbacks, and adversities. The Stoic conception of resilience is not merely about enduring hardships, it's about forging an inner strength, an emotional robustness, and an unshakable resolve to face life's storms with dignity and courage. It's about transforming difficulties into stepping stones for growth, rather than succumbing to them. Just as a wrestler hones their physical prowess through relentless training, we too can sharpen our mental resilience through the disciplined practice of Stoic principles. This involves deep self-reflection, mindfulness, and constantly reminding ourselves that our power lies in our reactions and attitudes, even when adversity looms large. To bolster this mindset, let us recall the words of another Stoic sage, Seneca, who said, Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. This profound statement encapsulates the essence of Stoic resilience. It's about embracing life's challenges, not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities to fortify our mental and emotional muscles. Therefore, as you confront life's hurdles, remember the wrestling arena metaphor and the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Cultivate resilience, not as a passive bystander, but as a stoic wrestler, poised and ready to grapple with whatever life throws your way. This is the path to transcending softness and emerging stronger, more robust and unyielding in the face of life's tests and tribulations. Embrace this journey on Stoic in your life, where we delve into the depths of Stoic wisdom, transforming ancient philosophy into a beacon of strength for the modern man. In this journey, we are not just learning to stand firm against the tides of life, we are learning to navigate them with the wisdom of the Stoics, turning every challenge into a testament of our resilience and every setback into a story of triumph. This is how we stop being soft and start embodying the true strength of a Stoic spirit. Embrace discomfort. Embracing discomfort, as Seneca wisely articulated, is a pivotal step in the journey of personal growth and resilience. His profound statement, he who fears death will never do anything worthy of a living man, serves as a stark reminder of the limitations we impose on ourselves when we succumb to the allure of comfort. This lesson delves into the transformative power of discomfort, urging us to view life's challenges not as hindrances, but as opportunities for self-improvement and inner strength. Picture a sculptor, diligently working on a block of marble. Each strike of the chisel, though seemingly harsh, is an act of creation, revealing the hidden beauty within the stone. This allegory mirrors our own experiences with adversity. Life, much like the sculptor's chisel, presents us with difficulties and trials. When we embrace these challenges rather than shying away, we chip away at our raw potential, gradually uncovering the masterpiece of our character. Learning, in its essence, is a journey through discomfort. The initial encounter with a new subject or skill is often fraught with challenges and unease. Yet, it is in these moments of struggle that our intellectual and personal growth is catalyzed. Every error and obstacle is a lesson in disguise molding our understanding, and enhancing our abilities. This process is akin to a blacksmith forging a blade, where the intense heat and relentless hammering are essential to create a strong, resilient weapon. The analogy extends to physical fitness. In the gym, pushing our bodies with challenging weights leads to muscle tears, which then heal to form stronger fibers. Stoicism parallels this concept, teaching us that life's trials are the mental and emotional weights we must lift. These challenges stretch our comfort zones, compelling us to adapt, learn, and evolve. Therefore, rather than evading difficult situations, we should approach them as opportunities for mental and emotional fortification. Confronting these challenges head-on, much like the sculptor facing the uncarved marble, not only builds mental toughness, 
but also equips us to handle future adversities with grace and wisdom. In this light, embracing discomfort transforms us. Just as the sword emerges as a formidable weapon and the body evolves into a stronger vessel, so too do we become individuals capable of tackling life's hurdles with steadfast determination and strength. Seneca's words echo through time, reminding us that the fear of discomfort can stifle our potential. By embracing these uncomfortable moments, we unlock opportunities for growth, self-discovery, and the development of a resilient spirit. This spirit, forged in the fires of adversity, empowers us to overcome life's challenges with unwavering resolve. In conclusion, the lesson here is clear. Discomfort is not an enemy but a powerful ally in our quest for personal growth and strength. By facing our fears and stepping out of our comfort zones, we pave the way for a life of fulfillment, resilience, and purpose. Let us remember Seneca's wisdom and embrace discomfort, for it is in these moments that the true essence of our character is revealed and refined. Today on Stoic in Your Life Tier, we delve into nine Stoic lessons, each a stepping stone to fortifying our mental and emotional fortitude. Stoicism, often misunderstood as a suppression of emotions, is in fact a philosophy that teaches us to channel our emotions constructively. It's about understanding what lies within our control and what doesn't, embracing life's discomforts as opportunities for growth, practicing rigorous self-discipline, and cultivating a resilience that stands unshaken in the face of life's storms. Reflecting on the words of Marcus Aurelius, the art of living is more like wrestling than dancing. We realize that life is indeed a complex wrestling match. However, with Stoicism as our compass, we transform into skilled wrestlers, adept at navigating the unpredictable. This philosophy encourages us to practice Stoic mindfulness and empathy, advocating for empathy over mere sympathy. This shift not only enhances our mental strength but also enriches our relationships with others. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches us the profound value of choosing virtue over comfort, a choice that elevates us to our highest potential. By weaving these Stoic principles into the fabric of our daily lives, we undergo a transformation. We evolve from being passive recipients of life's challenges to becoming active, resilient warriors. This journey is not just about ceasing to be soft. It's about becoming a beacon of strength and wisdom and inspiration to those around us. As we walk this Stoic path, we embody resilience and integrity, becoming examples of what it truly means to live a Stoic life. To further reinforce our journey, let's recall the words of Seneca. Life, if well lived, is long enough. This reminds us that the quality of our lives is not measured by its duration, but by the depth of our experiences and the strength of our character. If this exploration into Stoic wisdom has enlightened you, I encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to Stoic in Your Life. Together, let's continue to walk the path of Stoicism, embracing its teachings with resilience and integrity. Thank you for joining this journey, and may your path be ever guided by the serene and resilient spirit of Stoicism.